guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you guys. Um, previously on my channel I had part one of like the super mega haul. I am still looking for the other half of that haul. My husband um, transferred everything to a hard drive, um, like to a separate hard drive and now I can't find any of my previous videos that I had recorded. I am so, so sorry. Hopefully I find the rest of those videos. Um, so just stay tuned. And if I find them, I will definitely, definitely post the video for you guys. I have so many things to share with you guys. So let's just jump right into it. So I will just jump into Charming Charlie since the bag is already on my table. So Charming Charlie was having a sale on their chokers and it was like an 80% off sale, which was crazy. There were a few exceptions, but oh, pretty much all of them were on sale. And I picked up a few. The first one is the one that I'm wearing. This one is so cute and I think I've worn this one the most. Uh, it has like a leather strap with this I don't know it's like almost like fool's gold you know uh, right in the center and yeah I love this one this next one is a layered choker with four different strands and I love this one I thought it would add a little more edginess to my outfits and I got the gold version of the previous necklace that I just showed you. I like this one so much that I wanted both colors. <laughs> and the last one that I got, this one was actually not on sale, but I loved it so much that I just had to have it. This one was $13. The chain is gold and the pendant is this beautiful like sapphire blue color. And these little charms on the bottom are, um, things that you could switch out the main pendant for, or you can add them on. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's technically four necklaces in one. All right, next we'll just jump right into shoes because I kind of got them from different places here and there. The first two I got from Academy. The first pair is a pair of Nikes and it's this gray color with like a mint blue green and these are so comfortable this one is the women's nike city trainer in cool gray and my husband loved this color combination he was like you need to get it you need to get it now and i was like yes yes i do and the other pair that i got was an under armor pair which is this is my first under armor pair of shoes uh please excuse the dog hair that's probably all over it's like almost like this Dr. Pepper burgundy. I mean, it's such a nice color. And to be honest, it wasn't the most comfortable shoe, but I loved this, like the style of the shoe. And it's so, so lightweight. And yeah, I just, I totally fell in love with these shoes. Let me see, for reference, the color is called Rouge Raisin. This next pair of shoes is by Guess. Uh, I actually got them from Ross and they are super pretty. I've never owned high tops before, but the only thing is I'm pretty sure these are a little too big for my feet. <laughs> they kind of flop around like clown shoes when I wear them. That's, that's the only downside, but look at these beauties. Do you see this? Oh my gosh. So, so pretty. I liked them so much and I was like, I need to have them. But I am pretty short, so these kind of make me look a little like shorter and a little stubbier, <laughs> which I didn't really like. So I may end up giving these to my sister, 
Uh, I'm pretty sure she would love these. And the last pair of shoes are from Charlotte Russe. Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I think I got all of my booties from uh, Charlotte Russe. I have these large, like, really long pea coats, and I have a booty to match a booty. <laughs> I have these little boots <laughs> to match each of my um, coats, except for my army green coat, and I finally got a shoe to match them. I am in love with this color for fall. Uh, not just for fall, I wear it all the time. I, I love this military green. I had so many outfits envisioned just for these shoes. I was like, I'm gonna have to get them. I'm gonna have to get them. Let me know down below if you guys would like to see like a shoe collection or even like sunglasses collection, you know, even a stuffed animal collection. <laughs> I love to see like people's collections. I don't know, I it's probably just me, but I love to see videos like that. So if you guys are interested, just let me know. Next, oops. We will jump into Five and Below. Uh, all of this stuff my sister actually bought for me. I had gone to take her shopping for her birthday and then she ended up buying this stuff for me, which I don't even know why, but she's, just, she's too sweet, she's too sweet. The first item is this bright pair of mermaid pajamas. They're like these fluffy, fleecy, mermaid pajamas with like these metallic like scales. She knows me so well. <laughs> I love like girly things. I love mermaids. This was perfect. The next item is this t-shirt that she got me. It says tail as old as time. It's from the Beauty and the Beast and she knows my obsession with all things Disney and I love this shirt. I love it. I can't wait to wear this. This next item is still going along with the whole mermaid theme. It says mermaid vibes. I love these. I love to collect mugs for some reason. I, I guess I got it for my mom because she likes to collect mugs. Um, that's another collection that I can show you guys. My mug collection. It's, it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. And the next one is so cute. She actually bought it for me so I could um, like decorate my room with it for Halloween. Um, and then is this little guy, teeny tiny beanie baby, and his name is Scream. Mr. Scream. So cute, oh my gosh. Look at him. I got a few clothing items from this store called Image. And <laughs> these items I don't normally wear at all. I was really trying to push myself out of my comfort zone. I I don't know, I'm so shy when it comes to clothes. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. But <sighs> I went um, pretty crazy and got some things that I would not normally wear. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I only got three items, but oh my gosh. Um, if you had talked to me like last year, I would have been like, no, there's no way I would ever, ever wear those things, you know? But <sighs> let me show you. The first item was when I first walked into the store, I saw this like right as I entered. And I was like, that's beautiful. And it, I mean, it wasn't on a mannequin or anything. It was just like literally just hanging there. And it was the last one. So of course it was a sign that I had to get it. And it is this beautiful like wrap dress. It, it has these like see-through full sleeves and it's kind of like a high-low at the bottom. And it's so hard to show you on camera how beautiful this dress is, but it's so soft, so breezy. Let me see, this one was 2840. And just such, such a beautiful pattern. And I love navy blue. 
If I don't go for black, I most certainly will go for navy blue. The next item is the most surprising item that I picked up uh, for myself. And um, I always said I would probably never own one because they seem so impractical, like especially when you have to like, pee, like you have to take everything off. But, oh my gosh. So this is a plain black jumpsuit. It's so hard to show you on camera, but oh my gosh. The stitching on this jumpsuit was so flattering. I was like, I love it. And the last item from Image is this beautiful, uh, it's like a lace cardigan slash kimono. It is so, so pretty. Like the pattern and everything is so flattering the way it's stitched. It has like these like kind of like butterfly like sleeves and oh, it was so beautiful. But um, this one was 1940 and let me see. I don't think I told you, the jumpsuit was $22.50. So it was like three items and I spent like 80 bucks there. I was like, oh my gosh. So I quickly left after that. I didn't even, I didn't even go to the rest of the store because I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be on a budget. Next is Box Lunch. And this store is like one of my new favorite stores i i don't know <laughs> everything there is like disney slash marvel slash like fantasy themed and it's it's great it is a little pricey i'm not gonna lie it is a little pricey but um for every ten dollars you spend there they donate a meal to um the homeless which i thought was really sweet they were actually having a little sale. This one, like in their sale section, it was buy one, get two items free. So I took advantage. <laughs> so the first item I got was this Hogwarts Gryffindor sweater cardigan, which I am so in love with. Oh my gosh, I have seen this for a couple of years now, like in, um, Hot Topic and I think Spencer and I wanted this cardigan. It was literally the same cardigan too and I wanted this cardigan so bad but it was always so incredibly expensive. <laughs> so incredibly expensive but um, this one was on sale for $31.99 but I mean it was buy one get two free right so totally worth it uh yeah it's so so soft so comfortable i mean i love it my sister actually found the next item um because i mean it was buy one get two free so i knew i had to get this <laughs> it is this mickey business blouse kind of thing and it has this tie that you tie around the neck, like a scarf, and it is so cute. It has Mickey ears everywhere. I mean, need I say more? Seriously, like it was so, so perfect. And this one was $34.90. And since the deal was buy one, get two free, the sales section didn't really have anything else that I wanted. I asked my sister to look for something. She didn't find anything she wanted. Uh, my brother didn't find anything he wanted. My husband didn't find anything he, he wanted. So I ended up going with this. This was like literally the only other thing that I knew I would wear. Um, everything else was, I don't know, like from shows that I don't watch and stuff like that. So. It's this Ravenclaw Hogwarts um, cardigan. It's literally the same thing as the Gryffindor one, but for Ravenclaw. So I was like, all right, 
and yeah so I got those three items but the main reason why I went into box lunch was for this um, particular item which I am so happy I bought oh my gosh I was oh my gosh uh, look let me just show you I'll just show you Oh my goodness. Ah. And look at the little apple. And oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I just, I fell in love with this bag. And it comes with like these regular straps, but also like the long strap, you know? And this is like 100% vegan. Uh, and all of that like uh, the guy was telling me he's trying to you know he, well he did he's definitely sold it to me so um, has like a little uh, magnetic closure here and a little pocket and look at the inside detail I love it and then there's like a two sections and a little zipper in the middle if you can see yeah I had been looking for an everyday bag that was specifically Disney for the longest time. Oh my goodness. The last time I went to Disney World in Florida, um, I think I mentioned this in a video before, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I posted it yet, but I had been looking for a replacement for the specific Disney bag that I bought like eight years ago when I when I went to Disney World and that is because I used it like every single day and it is so worn out I will show you guys <laughs> this is my bag look at it it's just it's not even standing up anymore but look <laughs> I got this from Disney World so long ago the picture is fading and the, the like bag straps are like peeling off and oh my gosh and there was this really nice like metal Mickey Mouse head and someone stole it from my purse. Um, it has Walt Disney and Mickey standing in front of the Cinderella's castle and I mean you probably can't tell right now but it's just so faded because I used it every single day but it was well loved but in order to preserve what's left of my bag I knew I had to get another replacement bag so when I went to Disneyland in March of this year uh, I looked like high and low all over Disneyland to find a replacement everyday bag but unfortunately I did not find um, a bag that I could use as an every like for an everyday purpose I did end up buying a, a bag um, which is which is so beautiful by the way I don't know I, I think it's a little too fancy to be an everyday bag this is the bag that I got from Disneyland and it's from like little boutique the Disney boutique and look how cute it, you turn the Mickey head to open the bag up and this is what it looks like comes with a strap I still have not used this I've been wanting to haul all of my Disney stuff for you guys but um, the vi video quality didn't really turn out as good as I wanted it to if you guys still want to see it I can try and find it and post it for you guys but anyways um, yeah it's just this cute little going out purse it has like a tiny little pocket right here like a side pocket um, but as you can see it's way too small to be like an everyday bag oh my gosh do you see I have like a thing for navy blue <sighs> but anyways um, box lunch has like two other versions of this bag one of them is Maleficent they also had Ursula they had an Ursula bag and uh, I had to go with Evil Queen because I mean the bag shape was beautiful and 
Um, I mean, it's the Evil Queen. She's my favorite. I love her. I am so happy. I can't, I can't wait to use it. I cannot wait to use it. All right, guys, so that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Three items. My hair, and, and like it knows. It knows when I'm filming a video. So that's when it decides to go crazy and expand. Look at, it was fine. It was fine all day. And then I film and it does this. Like, wh what? <clears throat> and the last item. Okay.